Okay, hello everyone and welcome to today's first of two gameplay streams. That's right, this week I went kind of all out and had uh, four straight days of double gameplay streams. So I hope you've been enjoying them. This first stream here is going to be Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, I know we've been doing some major gameplay of Metal Gear Solid 5 this past week. Some big progress, which is good, you know. The game's long as hell. And I need to get as far as I can. It looks like after today and this weekend, by the way, because I will be playing this game also this coming Saturday and Sunday. I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping, fingers crossed, that I possibly will be uh, done with about halfway through the game by the end of this weekend. That's kind of my goal. If by the end of this weekend I could be halfway through Metal Gear Solid 5, that'd be perfect. Uh, it would allow me to... Uh, gauge how you know how much more time I need to put into the game by the end of the month <clears throat> and from what I'm to understand uh, I'm doing pretty decently people have been watching the streams watching the, the uh, you know the content uh, the the ongoing playthrough on YouTube and saying that I'm doing pretty decently <clears throat> which is interesting because uh, you know for me I've, you know, let's be honest, I've always sucked at Metal Gear. Everyone knows that, you know. It's not like it's any surprise here. Uh, anyone knows that, everyone knows that I never, I never really took the time to, you know, do the research, learn the series. And a lot of people might say, oh, you know, you don't have to do research to play Metal Gear. Well, yeah, you do. The bottom line is, in order to actually do well in Metal Gear, you need to do some research, learn about all the little intricacies of the games, right? Learn the controls, and yes, I'll admit, especially in years past, I've been less than observant, let's put it that way, when it comes to games explaining things, but at the same time, uh, you know, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid in particular, uh, always has some cryptic things. <clears throat> always, <clears throat> you know, uh, there's always things that aren't really explained, or Easter eggs, or... Even just yesterday, for example, I had upgraded an upgrade for my bionic arm in the game. But the game never explained how you actually use it. You know, I didn't know. You have to equip the arm, hold down a button. While you're in the button, there's a sub-menu. Then you have to push a direction and push right thumbstick in, you know, <clears throat> in order to actually activate the, uh, the item. Now, how the fuck would I know that? And the game certainly never explained it. Now, maybe... Somewhere, there's a menu within a menu within a, a tutorial within a sub-menu that explained it. <clears throat> but the bottom line is the, the common gamer who, you know, such as me, I'm not going to sit here and study the game in order to play it. You know, this is 2015, not, uh, you know, 2000. And in this day and age, when you buy a game, you expect that the game is going to at least explain the basics of this kind of stuff to you as you play. And, you know, Metal Gear Solid doesn't really do that. Metal Gear Solid is a game that expects you to kind of invest a ton of time into it to find out these intricacies and things. And, uh, you know, some people don't want to hear that. They want, oh, no, it's the perfect series. Listen, the best thing you could do to acknowledge how good a series is is to acknowledge that it has flaws. Because if you acknowledge that a game has flaws, okay... <clears throat> And, uh, if you acknowledge that the game has flaws, and you still say it's a great game, that means that the game has is better. To me, right, a game that has flaws but overall is an amazing game is better than a game that just, like, you know, it doesn't have any flaws, but it's just kind of okay, you know? This game has some flaws, but at the same time, it's great. <clears throat> and I'm okay with that, you know? I might rage every once in a while. Yesterday, we had a mission that was a beginner's trap, where... You approach the mission thinking it's one way, and it's not. It's, you know, you think it's just a simple hijack a vehicle mission and get out of there. Nope. It's actually a heavy combat mission, but you wouldn't know that going in. <clears throat> you know what I mean? You have, to, you have to get to that point in the mission to find out it's a heavy combat mission, and then you got to kind of, on the fly, <clears throat> try to figure out how you're going to solve it. And I raged, and I was pissed. Admittedly so. I was like, damn it, this is annoying because I thought it was going to be this one kind of mission and it's not. And, uh, and But then when I beat it, I liked it. And that's what it is. Adver overcoming the adversity, overcoming the, the surprises of the game is part of the charm of the game, in my opinion. <clears throat> so, 
<clears throat> this week in particular, <clears throat> I really like Metal Gear Solid 5. I just think that it's a shame that the start of the game is so slow. I, I'll be honest, the first week that I played uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, I didn't like it that much. I thought it was too far, far too slow of a start. I thought that the side content was grinding and didn't pay off. Now, here we are, you know, the second week I'm playing the game, I'm liking it way more. Because <clears throat> things are starting to unlock. I'm using the buddies that are unlocking, and it makes the game a lot easier and a lot more fun. We're unlocking new abilities, new items that we're trying. I just got, yesterday at the end of the stream, I got the ability to Fulton out vehicles. So that's probably what I'm going to start doing today, just run in and start stealing vehicles for missions and stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm liking the game the more I play it. That's a good thing, by the way. It's a good thing that the more you play a game, it grows on you. I'd much rather have a game that grows on me, right, than sucks from the beginning. So even though I've said, been critical and I've said things about Metal Gear Solid Five, as I said, I will reserve my judgment until I get further in the game. I will reserve my judgment until I've actually completed the game, and then I'll review it fairly. And that's what I'm looking to do, okay? So today we're going to be playing for about two and a half to three hours. Uh, to, uh, tonight, second stream tonight, <clears throat> it's going to be more Mad Max. And uh, as I've said, Mad Max and Fallout New Vegas will be the games that I juggle as like second stream content for the rest of the month. However, I don't know how many of you are still following along the Fallout New Vegas playthrough. I'll be honest with you. You know, it went on hiatus for two weeks and it came back this week. Uh, and I've been doing it on second stream and it hasn't been getting a lot of attendance on stream. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it is what it is, but I'm almost done with the game. If you actually have been watching the playthrough, I'm very close. I've now met Caesar's Legion. I've done a few missions for Caesar's Legion. And at this point, I'm reaching the end of the game. Um, I think I have to try to do one or two more th mini things before I unlock the final side content I'm trying to do. And then I'm going to do the final Caesar's Legion, and then we're going to do the, the finale at Hoover Dam. So it looks to me that possibly next week we may actually see the conclusion of Fallout New Vegas. I'm not positive, but we may. And if that's the case, that's actually a good thing because that will give me more time to focus on Mad Max before the next new game of the month comes out, which is actually Soma, which is going to come out not next week, but the week after. It's a survival horror game that I'm interested in playing. <clears throat> so hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, everything goes according to plan. Everything works nicely, and we don't have any issues. Uh, I, I think that we should be good for the rest of the month. If we can finish off Fallout New Vegas, that'll allow me to focus more on Metal Gear and Mad Max, right? Until we start getting into the new games in a couple weeks. So that's a good thing. Now tomorrow, I just want to warn everyone, tomorrow, I've said this all week, tomorrow we're taking a little bit of a break from Metal Gear. There will be no Metal Gear Solid 5 tomorrow, Friday. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a Super Mario Maker for my gameplay stream. I'm going to go off in the morning and pick it up at GameStop. And uh, it's going to be fun. Around three hours, I'll be messing around with these customization tools and things of Super Mario Maker. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to see what I can do when it comes to Mario level design. Checking that out. And then I'm going to see, you know, who actually created stuff and put stuff up on the... On the not really multiplayer, but I guess it's going to be like the online uploading system wherever you can see everyone else's levels. So, uh, we'll see. You know, I'm interested in the game for sure. And then if it's good, perhaps I'll play it once or twice more this next coming week. I'm, I want to focus still on Metal Gear. That's the thing. I have to get, you know, I have to, I have to stay focused and not lose focus and stop playing Metal Gear for an extended period of time because I'll never finish the game then. So I understand that and, uh, you know, I'm going to do my best to focus on it and get through it. Not to say that it's a bad thing to get through. I'm enjoying playing it, you know. I'm not saying I'm suffering through it, but obviously it's a very long game. And it requires a lot of attention, is what I'm kind of trying to say here. <clears throat> so, uh, tomorrow, Super Mario Maker. In addition, I'm going to try to edit and release the Until Dawn review. And I'm going to be sending messages to everyone who donated. Or I keep saying donated, and it's not correct. Who pledged, because you pledged in order to get something. It's not a donation. Uh, on Patreon in the month of August, uh, every, all everyone who did that will be getting messages. <clears throat> And uh, I'm going to need information back from you in order to get you your perks. So if you are a patron for the month of August, I certainly hope 
that you will respond quickly so that hopefully by mid September I can get all everyone's information and we can get people starting to nominate and vote on indie games because we will have an indie games mini marathon at the end of this month right now it's tentatively scheduled for uh, Monday September 28th I don't want to 100% promise it'll be that day but that's looking like that's more than likely going to be the case okay um, so yeah, so that's tomorrow, will be Mario Maker, Until Dawn Review, and I'll be, you know, working on patron stuff, and then Saturday, Metal Gear Solid 5 will continue, and Sunday also, so all weekend will be Metal Gear Solid 5 streams, for everyone, okay? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And yes, I apologize, as you can hear, I still am suffering from this cold, it's not as bad as it's been actually it's actually not as bad as it's been um at all uh it's actually getting a, a slightly better every day and i know some people might say what but you're still snorting and you're still choking yeah but it is it's actually getting overall a little bit better every single day um <clears throat> it's certainly not perfect it's certainly i'm not over it at all by any means uh but i am working on it and i'm hoping that uh you know, another few days, and hopefully things will get better. So, thank you for toughing it out. Thank you for putting up with the nasty symptoms of the cold. For now, uh, hopefully within a few days, they'll be solved. And, you know, some people are going to complain about it no matter what. It's like no one ha ever had a fucking cold, right? Oh, he's starting on stream. Yeah, because I have a cold. <laughs> what do you want me to do? magically make the congestion go away i'm you know i'm taking medication i'm doing everything i possibly can and uh, you know it is what it is i ended up getting a nasty cold and I'm, I'm suffering with the symptoms and i'm gonna be like this for a while you know i see some people are actually saying uh that they're having issues watching the stream that it seems to be very choppy today uh, i don't know what's going on there honestly uh i don't know i'm not seeing those issues i actually have the stream open uh, right here on my laptop at the highest quality uh, And I'm not seeing that issue. So if you're having that issue, I apologize Maybe it's something with YouTube today. This has happened before when I stream on YouTube sometimes some people it's flaky <clears throat> And I wish I could help that I can't <clears throat> So uh, we'll see uh, You know, hopefully it gets better for you But uh, all right, so that's it. Let's end the pre-stream. Let's get started Two and a half to three hours of Metal Gear Solid 5 gameplay today. I thank you very much for being here. And uh, that's about it for pre-stream. Not much else to say, alright? Thanks everyone. Let's get started here with some gameplay. <laughs> 